125 years ago, a small group of Rockford women had the foresight to develop a place that put education, employment, and empowerment of women at the center of their work. The fact that YWCA Northwestern Illinois is still thriving and growing in our 125th year of service demonstrates the dedication of the organization to continuously adapt and meet the needs of women and families in Northwestern Illinois. This past year was filled with milestones for the YWCA Northwestern Illinois. We successfully launched a new name. YWCA Lavos Latina has been fully implemented post-merger and is now operating at full capacity, ensuring that bilingual partner abuse intervention programming, prenatal and family support services are available to Spanish-speaking residents. YWCA Child Care Solutions facilitated $9 million in payments to child care and early childhood educators and worked with nearly 7,000 families by supporting their ability to work and attend school. I believe those founding sisters would be proud of how we've continued with their legacy. With programs like the Child Care Assistance Program, the CCAP program works with families who are working or going to school full-time and assists them in placing their children in high-quality educational settings for early childhood learning. Tiffany has had extreme success with this program and we'd like to share the story of her family with you. My name is Tiffany Noakes and I am a registered nurse. I moved back to Rockford probably two and a half to three years ago. Me and my boyfriend, who's also my child's father, had um, a one-year-old together, a one-year-old son, and we were unsure what daycare would be the best for him, so we reached out to the YWCA. Uh, probably about a year and a half um, into the nursing program and being in Rockford, um, my son's father and boyfriend at the time had passed away. And so it was hard for me to, you know, balance school, trying to work, raising my son and mourn and grieve of the loss of a loved one. Um, and so the YWCA was very helpful and supportive. I don't think that I could have done it without the YWCA because now I am still currently working on campus, um, but while I'm trying to get life together and find a job as a registered nurse, I'm still able to get financial assistance from the YWCA, which allows me to work at the school and still spend quality time with my son. As many new parents have learned, babies aren't born with a set of handling instructions. Our Healthy Families program answers the need for the newborn instruction manual and fills a vital need for information and support to young parents. Healthy Family staff works to decrease the prospect of abuse and neglect while teaching young moms and dads good parenting skills and how to bond with their infant. Gabriella would like to tell you about her experience in the Healthy Families program. Uh, my name is Gabriella Locke and I'm a student at Northern Illinois University. The YWCA and Lavos Latina, they have like collaboration. I had a one-on-one -on -one mentor um, she would come to my house and do house visits with me and my son. I had my son at a young age while I was still in high school. It was also great because, like I said, it was an outside view. I could talk to her about things that maybe I couldn't with my own family. Like, she also was a young mom herself, so it was good, like, seeing somebody that's already been through it, um, who's already established her career, and it was just really motivating. Roberta Cap is a local child care provider who's working towards improving the quality of her business as well as the educational opportunities for the children she's caring for. She's involved in the Accelerate program, which is a quality rating system for child care and child care businesses. Roberta is the only gold rated home child care in our four county service delivery area. She's found the curriculum support and training to be helpful in her child care and has enjoyed seeing the growth in her children. My name is Roberta Cap, and I am a group home child care provider. I started this line of work when I was watching my children, and as they were growing, I really wasn't seeing them grow the way I wanted to see them grow. I became involved with the YWCA, attending simple little trainings. And then from there, we started doing the trainings at the, at the Y itself. Without the grants that I received from the YWCA, I would not be able to purchase the items that we have purchased for our environment. We use the creative curriculum, which um, the YWCA Child Care Solution had originally um, offered that to us, and we were able to get those books. 
It's been said that women hold up half the sky, and when you empower one, you empower their entire family. The YWCA is proud to have supported women and their families for the past 125 years, and we look forward to the next 125.